Answering the question today, out of curiosity, could you please describe in what form you ate those 2000 calories every day for over two months? What did you eat in a day? So I will answer this question. This question is based on the previous video I made. I ate over 2000 calories a day for over two months. Uh, after being into the fasting world since 2012 and in this, this video today I am answering that question in details showing you everything that I ate that mm, counted for over 2000 calories a day. Hi and welcome, Mariam here sharing about how to live a more nourishing, energizing and prosperous life. So um, if you didn't watch the previous video it will show up here and I will put the link in the description under this video. I was eating <clears throat> when I was having over 2000 calories a day so basically before I was as I said eating way less than that basically drinking mostly and um, uh, fasting most of the time. Um, doing this experiment I was in the morning I was having um, basically I was having what I would have before when I was eating but in a lot uh, in a bigger proportion or bigger and with more stuff in it let's say for instance smoothie so I would make a smoothie in something like this and mix inside instead of just putting fruits for instance or um, superfood I would put more I would add um, so I was making every morning I was having a smoothie with protein powder oat powder so all two, those two a scoop of each I don't have a scoop right here, but it, it was basically, I guess, the size of this. That's the only thing I have around me, my baby's bottle um, cap. So I was putting one scoop of oat flour, one scoop of protein powder. They were vegan stuff um, Yeah, that I ordered from um, that company I trust. I uh, was putting also half a banana. I was putting peanut butter. I was putting... I'm trying to think about everything. Um, usually other fruits with a banana, like more juicy fruits, strawberries, pineapple, um, berries. I was putting a bit of ginger. Um, yeah, so basically I was making a smoothie with all these things and uh, that was already counting for over 500 calories. So one smoothie in the morning counting for over 500 calories. Uh, late morning usually because I don't normally take anything in the morning. Um, that's one thing I was doing then. Because I have a baby, I was <laughs> sharing my baby's food. Although she's only 10 months now, and back then she was even younger. But I was, uh, for instance, my baby Anya, she likes toasties. So two slices of bread that you put in a toasty machine with stuff in it. So it gets toasted in a crispy melting way which is nice and I give her I give her this and she likes it so we were sharing this meaning I would do double portion I would have a whole toasty myself um yeah that's that's one thing I was having most days I guess not every single day but most days um so in the toasty I would put anything like I, I bought those uh, vegan ham um I what would I put in it um Thing that were uh, cheese, no longer vegan. I could make a video on this, but basically, yeah, I would put cheese, uh, vegan, whatever. I did use vegan cheese before, but I don't now. Um, veggies, things like that. Another over 500 calories, I believe, or at least 500, that was counting. So we are into half uh, the amount. And then I was having yogurt and peanut butter. So a vegan yogurt, soya yogurt like this. And so a whole pot in one day, every single day. And about 100 grams of peanut butter. So I, I like the crunchy one with no added stuff in it. So, and I like the Alpro brand. I'm not like marketing any brand, but I may as well share. So yeah, all those two together, 100 grams of peanut butter and a whole pot of yogurt, that's over a thousand calories. So all this together, that was making over 2,000 calories. So although it sounds like a lot, in real, um, in actual reality, it's not that much in terms of actual chewable food because this is creamy and the smoothie is liquid. And the only thing I was really eating was um, eating in a way at chewing as chewing uh was a toasty with my baby and i wasn't having that every day sometimes i would have her baby biscuits called rusts if you don't know those um 
they're, they're nice they're not very sweet because they're baby biscuits and i was dipping them in a big cup of tea this size again and uh which is still having tea in it um i was dipping those biscuits in the tea and they would melt to a point they go even not liquid but very creamy you know what i mean like when they really really melt in the warm tea and I would do that because this way you don't really feel like you're having a lot of calories. If you, you see what I mean. If, it, if you dip stuff in a tea and it melts, it feels like you're barely eating. Although at some point you do feel full. Um, so I was having probably three of those. Or four, I don't remember. I was having till like it counted for the amount of calories. That's another thing. Again, if you think of it, it's not exactly something that you chew as a cooked meal. Also, sometimes I was having a cooked meal with um, other family members when they did come over or I went over to theirs, etc. So yeah, hopefully, and oh yeah, something very important. So for me to be able to do that without getting, I don't know, while feeling still okay, in my smoothie, I always put this like green powder. And I also use it for my baby when she is constipated. Super great trick. I will probably share that tip in a other video about baby digestion i don't know yet but um this is basically a superfood greens and while i was putting i would always put a scoop so i'll show you this like a scoop already in the pot like this amount okay so it's called be well it's the arbon rand and it's superfood green um it's, it's got spirulina in it and it's basically a blend of fruits and vegetables let me try and i think let me read the pot because i'm not yes yeah, 36 different fruits and vegetable extract in the form of powder so it looks like this if i can show you without doing a mess okay a powdered superfood greens and i was adding it in my smoothie jar i was blending everything with everything i told you about before and literally about a few minutes after i was going to the toilet straight away that was really really helping this way i didn't feel heavy and i i just really highly recommend whether you eating fasting both which wherever changing your diet looking to lose weight um or to have more energy whatever is your journey exactly i do recommend the this one specifically i tried others and it it, it didn't work like that this one i feel like is a great quality i will link um the um this product and any of this video in the description section if you want to get it um but yes, because like this was really helpful because I, I was going basically to the toilet within minutes after this. And as I said, even when I put a little bit in my baby's uh, food or puree, sh if she's constipated, she poops a few minutes after sorted. <laughs> so that's a trick for you if you are... Uh, that, that's helpful. Right, so I feel like I've answered a question. That's how I was eating over 2000 calories a day for over two months. And yeah, again, because I'm on the journey of fasting for so long and I'm a, I know so well about the liquid journey as well, that was easier for me to make it happen this way. And also I want to point out that all those people who tell you that they don't eat or they're pranic or breatharian or food free or whatever it is the word, and they drink juices, realize that a bottle of juice is more calories than a plate of rice. And sometimes we, we don't realize that liquid, a liquid diet, liquids and creamy things like yogurt or ice cream, although they are in the liquid form or very, very close to it, they contain a lot of calories. And I, through my experiment, I was showing you that it's possible to eat over 2000 calories a day of mostly liquids and sometimes basically very close to liquids. Um, and still be losing weight and still be okay. I did, as I said, I did have more chewable food and more solid food, but do check on people. Like don't believe people who say they don't eat and they have liquids because liquids count just at the same, as the same in terms of calories. You can have over 2000 calories a day of liquids. And I've seen that around me so many times in this whole world of um, plunged fasting. Yeah, do your research, do your own experiments, go on your own journey and see for yourself and take the time because it takes time for your body to adjust to anything you put your body through, but it will always adjust. Okay, um, all right, again, 
join in the newsletter for more information and more um, events. I will do, I am conducting more Living on Energy events online. Link under this video. And I'll catch you up in the next one. Bye.